Welcome back, viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Nube. I'm here with a brief update. Uh, some of you may already have known that the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, the Zimbabwean Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Mr. Frederick Shaba, is visiting South Africa where he is co-chairing uh, the Bi-National Commission with International Relations and Cooperations Minister from South Africa, uh, Ms. Naleti Panda. So we are getting some worrying uh, reports from him. Well, not as not worrying as such because this is what was kindly maybe expected, kind of maybe expected uh, from a government official, especially from Zimbabwe, uh, where he said that uh, his government is ready to welcome back Zimbabweans who have been living on the South African special dispensation permits. You will remember that the first one was this DZP, and then it was followed by the Zimbabwe special permit, which metamorphosed to the Zimbabwe exemption permits uh, in 2017. And uh, the Zimbabwe exemption permit has unfortunately been uh, stopped, so it's not going to metamorphose into anything new, it's not going to be renewed. So the Zimbabwean uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Shaba, was then asked today, uh, in fact, he said this in his opening remarks, uh, where he said that uh, his country respects the decision taken by South Africa, which, which is not something new, uh, and, that, and then he said that his country is ready to welcome back uh, every Zimbabwean who has been living here uh, on the Zimbabwe exemption permit uh, when the permit expires uh, on the 31st of December this year, which is 2022. So what he's basically saying is that uh, they respect the decision of the South African government to discontinue the ZEP, but it is worrying uh, we, we don't know, of course, if there are any kind of negotiations that are happening behind the scenes, but uh, the minister uh, has given us what, is, uh, what we would say is a, a statement which is likely to receive mixed views from Zimbabweans because those who understand diplomatic talk may understand this, but those who do not, especially those who are desperate uh, to remain in South Africa, especially considering that the situation which pushed them out of their own country of birth has not changed a bit. Uh, most of them are economic refugees, and as we know it, the Zimbabwean economic situation has not improved a bit. In fact, it has worsened since uh, 2010 when the first uh, dispensation permit was issued. So instead uh, of uh, improving that situation, the Zimbabwean government has seen it or has led to its worsening. So many Zimbabweans would rather uh, they have their permits renewed here in South Africa. They would rather hear their minister saying that something is being done in order for them to maybe be moved to a better uh, permit regime of for them to be provided with something new but of course those who understand diplomatic court, uh, talk would know that the minister would not preempt uh, especially if there are some of these things happening behind the scenes but uh, the desperation among the Zimbabweans will obviously take uh, over and it will uh, not allow them uh, any time to try and decipher this in terms of diplomatic talk. So we we are not uh, certain as of now if ever there is anything happening in terms of uh, the two governments engaging privately to try and better the lives of Zimbabweans here or to try and have these permits renewed because remember we're talking about uh, 173,000 people whose permits uh, are expiring at the end of this year 173,000 people who will be expected to then if they do not qualify as the majority will not qualify for the mainstream South African permits would then be expected to move back to Zimbabwe and we're looking at a volatile situation ahead uh, of the 2023 elections in the country uh, whose dates are not yet uh, out 
uh, and whose days we are not yet certain about. And these people are going to be absorbed or are supposed to be absorbed in the Zimbabwean economy. It is going to be a tall order, especially for these people who will be, uh, most of them required to start afresh because we would know that most of the people on the ZEP are people who have been doing manual jobs, are people who have been, been doing uh, low paying jobs who may not have managed to plan anything back home and you can imagine what kind of a life they will be getting back to so we we remain hopeful that maybe uh, as i have said the minister was just giving diplomatic talk while behind the scenes they're trying to find a better way or a better solution to this kind of a situation we know that there is a possibility uh, of the white paper on international migration being uh, rolled out we are not certain about that and we don't expect it to be rolled out anytime soon especially with south africa uh, especially the anc itself facing a backlash from some of the right-wing voters and the country heading to elections in 2024 so we remain with that bated breath we hope for the best but for now what we keep getting is the worst thank you very much please do not forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it